Welcome back to my channel. Yes, you've seen the title. We're talking about 12 signs that you have way too much stuff. And trust me, you're going to want to stay to the end because my last and most important and most shocking sign is at the end of this video. So stay tuned. first sign that you have too much stuff is that you're super sentimental. I know you're probably thinking, oh wait, don't go in that area because I'm very passionate about my sentimental items. Look, if you have an old brooch that you got from a great great grandmother that passed away and that you want to make it a family tradition by passing it on to each child and they can use it on their wedding day, I can understand that. It's sentimental it has meaning, it has value, and it has use. Like you can actually use it. It's not just something that's just going to sit there and collect dust. Now, if you have old baby clothes when your daughter was like two years old and you're keeping it around for sentimental values and you have no more kids and you don't plan on having any more kids, you need to let it go. And I know it can be emotional for some people to let go of things that are sentimental value, but trust me, you will free yourself from the burden of actually carrying these things from place to place, dusting them, cleaning them. It's healthy for your mindset. Trust me. Now, disclaimer, I'm not telling you to go let go that most important, valuable thing that your grandmother gave you and then you let it go and then you're blaming me because you feel bad. Look, I'm just saying, let it go if you don't feel like you need it. But don't let it go if you know you're going to regret it later down the line. Number two, the reserve section. At least that's what I'm calling it. Is those things that you have actually saved for a specific time or, or season in your life. Or maybe when you lose weight, like that outfit that you hoping that one day you can actually fit in. That you bought brand new just to motivate you to lose some weight and you never lost the weight. Or those jeans that you hoping one day you'll drop back to that size to fit in again and it's been on the shelf for maybe three, four, five years. Let it go. Just <laughs> let it go. I'm, I'm telling you. Let it go. When you lose that weight, guess what? That motivates you to go buy new jeans to fit into your new drop size. But let go of the clothes that you know that you're probably never going to get to fit in. And by the time you do lose the weight to fit in it, guess what? It's probably going to be out of style anyway. So what does it matter? Get rid of it. Number three, you know when you have too much stuff, when you do laundry and that pile of clothes actually sits out there on that chair or that couch or that table or that area that you put it in and it's still sitting there one week later and it's still there, haven't been touched, haven't been folded, haven't been moved, it's still in that spot. That's when you know you have way too much clothes, way too much stuff, because at the end of the day, if it's sitting there for like a week, what are you wearing? So that means you have way more other clothes to wear, so much to the point that you don't even have time to fold the ones that's sitting on the pile. So guess what? You need to reduce your closet and get rid of some clothes because you're not even wearing it, nor do you even know that it exists because you're doing the laundry and it's just sitting there while you wear other stuff. You got too much stuff. Let it go. Number four. <laughs> You're stressed, you're overwhelmed, and guess what? Every time you come into your house, every time you go into your car, you feel overwhelmed by the amount of stuff you have. Guess what, sis? You got too much stuff. So you need to reduce that. Number five, you have space that's actually unusable. I mean, you bought the item for one thing, but it's serving a whole nother purpose. Example, you bought a desk, an office desk, to do office work and actually do your homework, do paperwork, do work stuff. But guess what? It's unusable because you have so much junk stacked on top of it. Papers, files, you know, all kinds of junk you have stacked on top of that desk. You, you don't even use it. You don't even bother doing work on it anymore because they have so much junk on it. And instead of decluttering it and cleaning it out, you just left it there and decide that, you know, I'll just do my work somewhere else. You got too much stuff. Example, you got all this other stuff that you have in your house 
on your kitchen counters, on your um, coffee table. And they're not even called coffee tables anymore. They're not called kitchen counters anymore. They're not called office desk anymore. They are now called storage areas because that's what you're basically using them for. You're storing all your stuff and all your junk on top of them and they no longer serve the purpose you actually bought them for. It's time to let it go. You got too much stuff. I'm telling you, clear it out. I bet you if you go in your house and you start going from room to room, you're going to find a designated spot that you actually don't use. Or even worse, you might have a whole room that actually can't be used. It's not even called a room no more. It's just called the storage area because it's just holding all your junk. I'm telling you. Number six, you're arguing. I mean, like you and your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is, you guys are arguing day in and day out about your stuff, your junk, maintaining them, keeping it clean, organizing them, moving them out the way. Whatever the reason is, there's an argument about stuff. If you have stuff to the point where you're arguing about it, you got too much. It's time to let it go. When you go to your car and you feel stressed because all the junk that's in there, I mean, books, papers, all kinds of stuff. When I used to get in my car when I was a student in college, you won't believe the amount of books, papers, notes, folders, everything that I had in my car. And every time I got in my car, I was so stressed because I would be living on piles of paper and notes and all kinds of stuff and every time I said I'm going to organize them I never did because it just kept on building up and then to the point it got so overwhelming where I really was scared to clean it because I knew it would take me like hours and hours to clean it don't do that to yourself just let it go number eight you buy something you bring it into your home and guess what you don't have no place to put it you bought a new outfit you can't put it in a closet because your closet's full you can't put it in your dresser because your dresser's overflowing. And now you're stressing about, where am I going to put these extra pieces of clothes? So you know what you do? You leave it in the same bag you bought it in and put it in the closet. So now you create a new storage. Good for you. Let it go. I mean, just let it go. Number nine. Guys, this one is not funny. And it's something that you should take very seriously. It's actually shopping as a therapeutic means. You can't do that. The other day I had someone tell me, oh, you know, I love to shop because it's very therapeutic to me. And we laughed about it. But when I thought about it, I was like, that's actually pretty unhealthy. If you're using your shopping habits as a means to actually soothe whatever it is you're going through or take your mind off stuff and de-stress, that's a bad sign of you having way too much clutter and having way too much stuff because if you're shopping for therapy um, um if you're shopping for therapeutic reasons guess what that shopping is going to lead to stuff coming in your home and stuff that you don't even have place to put that means you got too much stuff i bet you you have too much stuff trust me you have too much stuff if you're shopping for therapeutic reasons and if you don't know if you're shopping for therapeutic reasons when you go shopping next time ask yourself do i need it is there a reason why I'm getting it? And does it serve a purpose? And do I already have one? Ask yourself that. If you can't check all those boxes, you're probably shopping for therapeutic reasons. Number 10, you got too much toys. Look, I'm not a mom yet, but I've seen it way too many times when I see so many toys in someone's home and the kid only plays with one toy. You got too much stuff on top of your stuff. Plus your kid stuff. I mean, if you don't start reducing some of those toys those kids have that they haven't used in a while, they haven't played played with in years or months, you need to get rid of it because then that's your kid stuff added on top of your stuff. Then you have a whole big bin of stuff that you don't need. Just too much of it. Wait, you doggy lovers and cat lovers, you think you're excluded too, huh? <laughs> no. You got too much toys. Those cats don't need all those furry toy balls, whatever it is that you guys give to these cats and to these dogs. They only need one bone, one lanyard, and guess what? They will play with that until they die and they'll be fine. They don't need new toys. Let it go. You got too much stuff. Number 11, you want to move because your space is too small. <laughs> 
Why do you want to move because your space is too small? You're the only one living there, sis. Nobody else is living there with you. You live there by yourself. How small can your space be? Wait, no. How much stuff do you have that you feel like your space is too small? Now, I can understand if you're living in your um, parents' basement or you're living in a private little room that you're renting out. I can understand that feeling too small and you're outgrowing it. Even then, actually, I can bet you can minimize the, amount of, minimize the amount of stuff you have in your closet and in your room and in that small space to make it not feel as closed in. But if you are if you have a whole house, I mean a whole house, a whole condo, a whole apartment, and you want something bigger because it's not enough space, I have to ask you how much stuff you have because you really don't need it. I'm just saying, let it go. Too much stuff. Number 12. And I mean, this is the biggest sign of all the ones I've already mentioned, and that's buying storage. If you have to buy storage and buy a whole storage bin to actually store your stuff and pay monthly payments on it in order to keep your junk, you have too much stuff. Unless you're storing away a car because <laughs> you're going out of town or you're a snowbird or some kind of vehicle, or something majorly big that you cannot keep in your small space, then there's no reason for you to be purchasing a whole storage unit and paying monthly payments on just junk. I bet you it's not that important what you're putting in there that you need a whole storage unit. I mean, papers, books, stuff. I... I'm going to just leave it at that. You got too much stuff. All of that said, guys, stay tuned for my next video as I tell you all the things I no longer purchase. I mean, I no longer purchase these items because they create too much stress, too much clutter, and I have to clean them for no reason because they're not even serving me any, any use and they're not important to me to go through all of that work. If that's something you want to see, stay tuned to the next video. But in the meantime, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you can know when my upcoming videos are coming. And, you know, just follow the journey of being more minimalistic and living a simpler life and creating a more simpler life that you love. If that's something you want to see, continue to follow me here on She Dynamic.